Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm finally getting around to uh, doing a review over Bizarre. Um, I'm going to play each track and tell you what my thoughts are on them. Uh, I do like most of the songs on this CD. Uh, the intros for both uh, Bizarre and B-I-Z-Z-A-R uh, are very uh, much the same, just with a different person doing the lines. So yeah. Okay, here's the intro. Pretty much it, all it does is talk about a cloud uh, running over the city and the rain turns people into pretty much mindless zombies and uh, it only uh, attacks like the religion places. Yeah, the CD skips. Now Bizarre, the title track. Um, pretty much, it's how weird can you be and how wacky can you be. And it's got a really funky beat, as you can hear. <laughs> I like the chorus for it. Everybody here! Everybody here! Cherry Pie, I Need a Freak, uh, is a remake of a song called I Need a Freak. But uh, ICP added their own twist on it. Uh, I think it was originally performed by uh, Ishan. Um, uh, trying to think of what else. Um, when I first saw the title Cherry Pie, I couldn't help but think of the Warrant song. But, yeah. Um... Pretty much all the song is about is getting laid and uh, comparing uh, a girl's uh, netting to a cherry pie, which uh, we also call it cotton candy. Questions is a song about uh, what are some questions you have, uh, like random questions, how far do they go, and uh, will you get an answer from it? And the chorus goes like, why ask, tell me why, Jesus, tell me why, I must find out why. Mr. Happy, no, it's not about uh, the weed, even though that's Mr. Smiley. Uh, it's about a serial killer named Mr. Happy who just enjoys killing people. And uh, he talks about how he's going to kill people. And he, at one point he's like, I don't use a chainsaw or a butcher knife. I just, that so 90s man, get it right. And then uh, he says, I never mutilate or chop my loves. All I really need is a pair of gloves. Maybe a car, I'll run them down with it. Uh, I know that can be messy, but the birds will lit it. So yeah. Radio Stars is pretty much uh, ICP's response to the mainstream. It's not really a song. It's more of just a mix of different things. It's mostly talking. It's a good song, though. My Axe, pretty much what it's talking about. It's talking about an axe. Uh, how Violent J's best friend is an axe in Shaggy. If raises the question like, what if you were this? What if you were that? Uh, I'm going through these uh, songs pretty fast because uh, they keep skipping. Um, next up, I think, is Let's Go All The Way. Yep. Uh, Let's Go All The Way is a remake of a Sly Fox song. Uh, instead of it being about... Uh, 
like it's pretty much ICP's take on uh, let's go all the way. Uh, it's talking about everybody should just get along and uh, be friends with one another and most people are like what? ICP made a song about that? And I'm like, uh, no, Sly Fox did, and then ICP just did their own version of it. Hmm. Let a Killer uh, is a song about pretty much Violent J wanting to get laid by celebrities. Yeah, like Britney Spears, uh, I think Christina Aguilera is one of them, uh, Shaggy actually talks about, uh, uh, fucking a special ed girl, uh, and it turns out it's Sharon Osbourne. <laughs> Juggalo Paradise is like a juggalo anthem, you just feel good every time you listen to it. Uh, it's about, uh... What would uh, the Juggalo, uh, if Juggalos ruled the world, what would it be like? Juggalo Paradise. Crystal Ball is a 22 minute song. Uh, it's pretty much uh, the out, uh, outro for the CD. Um, it's about uh, looking through a crystal ball and seeing into your future, whether it's good or bad, uh, the choice is up to you. Uh, you uh, only choose your fate nobody else does so yeah um, what do I give a uh, bizarre mm, I give it probably oh, drop the CD I definitely need to get this CD buffed I'd probably give this about an 8 out of 10. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, it's blue uh, pupils with red outlining, whereas uh, the question marks are red uh, question marks with blue outlining. Um, so, yeah. These two CDs and Freak Show were all released on October 31st, 2000. And uh, they're filled to the brim with a bunch of bonus material in the booklets, not on the CD. And I, w I read Behind the Paint twice, and this is something that confused me. Um, it says if you put either Bizarre or Bizarre in uh, your... Uh, computer you can actually see a music video for the corresponding song like if it's bizarre uh, you get to see let's go all the way the music video if you have a uh, bizarre uh, you get to see the song uh, the see the music video for uh, total world I could never find out how to get it uh, going because uh, I don't see anything uh, you know how with uh, icons they'll have like a little film uh, right there next to the song title if it's a video well whenever I put it in my CD-ROM uh, nothing like that shows up so either it was only in certain copies or what so anyways uh, that's my review over uh, Bizarre uh, hopefully you all enjoyed it and I'll be back with Biz R A A R. That's the front. Yep, see? Red question marks with blue outline. Yeah. I love ICP, they're awesome. Yep. Uh, but if you don't like ICP, that's cool. Uh, but if you're wanting to uh, know anything about ICP, just ask your fellow juggalo and they'll tell you all about it. So, anyways, this is Psychopathic One, signing off. Be back later. Peace.